Hi everyone, this is Morgan Powell with SalinaHomes.com and today I'm here to give you tips on relocating to Salina. So right now the housing market is kind of crazy here in Salina. Uh, we have about 25 active homes on the market for sale right now. On a normal year, you know, we'd have between 80 and 150 homes on the market. Um, last year, you know, we thought it was a, a seller's market with 60 homes on the market. Well, that was way better than this situation right now. Um, and rentals, you know, on a normal year, we'd have, you know, 20 at least online that you could find to, for rentals. Right now on Zillow, there's about one every day. So it's very important to be prepared and move quickly. So if you're wanting to buy, that means, you know, having your pre-approval letter ready to go or your proof of funds letter you know, and getting out there and looking right away. I know that's hard when you're relocating, so sometimes you may just have to look, you know, via FaceTime. Um, when people were relocating to Salina, you know, prior to 2020, um, people were able to write clauses on the contract in Section 14 that, you know, they can make their offer subject to them, you know, getting here by X date and approving of the property. Right now, that's kind of hard to do because most homes are getting um, around four offers. Some are getting as high as 15 offers. So it's it's very um, competitive right now. So if you're buying a house sight unseen, um, some things that you could do is make it subject to inspections. So that would give you time to drive here and see it during the inspection period. Um, it also give you a way out, you know, if, you, if there's major issues with the house that you didn't want to live with. So that would be something to think about. Um, if you're looking for a rental, um, it's it's very hard to find one. Um, you just need to be patient, though. And as soon as you find one that you like, you need to you know put a deposit down and sign the lease right away. You know if if you get approved for it, because there's just there's not enough houses right now. And what's causing all this is there's so many new jobs to Salina, and the low interest rates is causing people to want to be homeowners too. So. Um, so it's really great that Salina is growing and expanding and there's all these new jobs. Um, just the housing market just needs to catch up still. So if you have time though, and you do not need to be in Salina right away, or you've already found a great rental to live in, or you have family to live with, um, building could be a really, really great option for you. You know, that way you can have everything you want in your house and it could be the, exactly the way you want it. So there's a couple different options with building too. So you could start from the ground up, or you know, there's also being spec homes being built that you could um, get in. You know, when they're just being framed up, and you could pick out all your finishes. So that's kind of a fun process to do as well. So if you have any general questions about living in Salina or relocating to Salina, please let me know. I grew up in Salina, and I have been here my whole life. Have a great day! And if you want any information on my relocation guide. Just send me a message and I'd be happy to send it to you. My email is morgan at salinahomes.com.